Alright, so today I'm going to be going over a tutorial about how to include header files into your Arduino projects. Um, this is, you're going to need your headers if your main gets overloaded with functions and you kind of want to split it up. So say you have a module for a fan and then a motor and you want to split them up to have their own functions. I'm going to teach you how to do that for the Arduino. Uh, check out my 60 second video if you want to incorporate this into your project as soon as possible. Otherwise stick around to go into the details here. So for here in your main you're going to have your all of your header files, your fan, your motor included. And then for setup you can see I have fan.setup. This is how you access your functions that are within your headers up here. So I'm setting up my fan, setting up my motor, and then now I can access functions that are inside my motor. Say I want to change the speed or something. So then if we're going to open up a header file now for fan. You can have indef fan underscore h to find it, and then for your classes, I put fan class, f class, and public, and then this is where all your functions are going to go. You need this f class function for the compiler to understand um, how to access it. And then all of this is where you declare your function, so I got setup, speed, and then I have a rotation that returns an integer. And then for extern f class fan, fan is the actual name right here that you're going to be using. Um, to access that. So this is how you set up the actual .h file. Now for the .cpp, this is where all of your functions are actually going to be written in. So you're going to include your Arduino.h and your fan.h, and then you can have your global variables here, and then the fclass, fclass function here. This is what the compiler needs, so don't change this at all unless you're going to change the name. And then also down here, this is what the compiler needs. Everything in between are the functions that you can actually write. So to write a function inside the fan.h header, you're going to do f class double colon setup, and you can do everything you need to in here. And so then whenever we go back to the main, we have setup, and we can set up the fan, set up the motor, delay, and then run our main program. And then same for speed, but then here for integer, this is going to return a value. So I have 12, and it's going to return 12 and this is for rotation. So now in my main I can go in and create a variable say rotation and I can set that equal to fan dot rotation in my function right there. Let's try to run it, see if it compiles alright and we get it done compiling. So that returns a value, sets it into rotation and now you can access that later on. So like I said, this is just to simplify your code. So look at, here's your main, that's all you have, and then all of your more complex functions are written in your headers over here. So say we're going to incorporate motor now. Um, same, same thing. So you got your motor class, everything's exactly the same. Um, I will have all of these files on GitHub for downloading so you can quickly incorporate these into your project, change the names, whatever you want to do. Um, if you like this, please comment below and let me know if there's any other projects that I could work on and you need help on and I will be more than happy to uh, put up some more tutorials. Thank you.